Hey, my lovely Serene Dream here back with another pick a card reading. <clears throat> and today's requested topic is, will I live the soft life? And um, this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone. So take what resonates, leave what does not, reverse the messages if that's how fits your situation. If you'd like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year or your love forecast for the rest of the year, you can do so at the Vimeo links below in the description box. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, link to my website can be found in the description box as well. Follow me on Instagram at Serene Dream Things for guidance. And um, on the screen are three plushies. You can go ahead and make your selection. If you need more time, <clears throat> you can go ahead and pause the video, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Just let me go ahead and timestamp this here. Okay, so for those who chose plushie number one, will you live the soft life? I get like, um, I'm getting like an energy of it being like for a time, like it's temporary. So I feel like there's going to come a point in time in your life where you are going to live a soft life, but then it's going to evolve into something else. I feel like you're, I'm getting like boss energy. So I feel like you may be in a position where you're taken care of uh, for a period of time and then you like branch off and you do your own thing. And like, it's giving me like the vibes of like a person who's married to someone who's well off. And that person, like their partner takes care of them financially. They don't have to do much. This could, this could honestly, get, this gives me the vibes of like a woman who has had children and she's like a new mother and she's, the, the couple have agreed to like, for the woman to stay home for like the first few years of the children's lives to like be there for their, you know, the potty training and teaching how to walk, you know, just the formative years um, before they start school. Like maybe the first, I'm getting like four or five years. So maybe like the four, the first four or five years of the children's lives, um, the mother is home. But after the five years, it's like she goes to work. Like this could be, you know, the partner investing in this in your dreams, you know, maybe there's something you wanted to do and you set a goal like, okay, I'm going to be home for five years with the kids. This is just an example. It doesn't have to be like this, but I'm just, this is just to give you a clear example of how it's coming into me. Like you and your partner make an agreement for you to be home with the children or to like work on a plan for your business for the first, you know, for four to five years. And then after the four or five year mark, you branch out and you actually, you know, pursue your dream or start your business. And I feel like you're going to hit the ground running. And by that time you will have like a good, I'm hearing nest egg, a good foundation. It could even be like, you know, um, your partner, maybe you do work and maybe, but maybe you work like part time or you do something that's not too strenuous and your partner is just like, you know, keep your money, like just save your money to build towards your dream. I got us. I'll take care of all the bills. You just save all your money. So you're saving all this money for this particular dream you have or to uh, accomplish this particular goal. And after that set amount of time that you all agreed to, you can actually put that money toward that dream to make your own dream come true. I get something like that. So with this group, it's like a temporary time that you're going to live a soft life. I don't feel like it's forever. Neither do I feel like you want it to be forever. I feel like you're a person with a purpose. Like, you know what you want to do. I feel like even before like meeting this person who would give you this soft life for this period of time, you've always had like a goal in mind, something you wanted to become, something you wanted to do. But it was all a matter of when. And so you, like I said, you and your partner are going to sit down and create a plan for you to make this happen for yourself. But in the meantime, while working toward that plan and making that dream come true, you um you have a soft life like you have a soft landing somewhere to just kind of like relax and just get yourself together get your mind right build up what you need to build up towards your dream but i don't feel like you're a sit down on your behind type of girly or guy it's just you want to do something you f you feel like you have a purpose inside of you that needs to be expressed and i do feel like you have a partner who's going to be behind you 
um, 100% in pursuing this. They're going to, whatever it is you need to make this happen, like whether it be money, whether it be like physical support, like they're going to be there to give you that helping hand because they want to, this, this person, your partner is going to be someone who not only truly believes in you, but like they really want to help you succeed. Like it brings them joy to see you reach your dreams. So it, it could even be the situation where, you know, your person takes on the financial responsibility for four or five years of the household and then you get out there and then you take on the responsibility for the next four or five years or whatever. You know, I just get something like that. So it could play out in any kind of way, but I, I get like the soft life is temporary, but you will have it. But I don't get with this group that you necessarily want it to be forever because you have your own dreams, your own plans, your own goals and things you wish to accomplish. You feel like it's too much, like you're meant for much more um, than just being taken care of. And there's nothing wrong with those people who want to be taken care of, but I just feel like that's not for you. Yeah. I just, I'm keep hearing you have a purpose in this world. And for this group, you know what that purpose is, or you will soon find out, um, in the time that you are, you know, before you have this agreement to be taken care of. But I definitely get like when you are in that soft life, you're going to want for nothing. I don't feel like it's going to be a struggle or penny pinching situation. You're just going to like, it's not only what you need, but like you're taken care of in the what you want category too. So I do feel like your person will take very good care of you. And this is what's going to give you like the energy you need to go forth for your own dream because you're going to be so relaxed and so well taken care of with all the resources you need by the time you branch out and do your own thing. Okay, so let's move on to plushie number two. Give me a moment to timestamp. Okay, so for those who chose plushie number two, will you live the soft life? I'm hearing elegance um, with this group. I de this is giving me extravagance. Like I heard elegance. I'm hearing extravagance. I'm getting that you are going to definitely live a soft life. I feel like you are going to live like the typical trophy wife or husband. You're going to have the finer things in life. Like shopping sprees galore. Um spa days whenever you feel like it going to do like hobbies like yoga and I just get like you have a lot of freedom like a lot of free time to just kind of do what you want to do so yeah this is definitely giving me like full hardcore soft life with this group you're not going to want for anything neither do I feel like you're going to be stressed about anything like you're not going to be working hard in any regard but this group, I get like, I get like rest of your life energy. So when this life starts for you, I feel like it's going to go like that for the rest of your life. You're not going to know what it's like to pay a bill, to lift a finger. Um, I'm hearing to fix anything around the house, nothing. Your partner will be happy to do all the work and provide you with a life where a life of luxury, I'm hearing. You could marry somebody who is truly well off, like a millionaire billionaire for some of you but uh definitely someone who like money is not an object that's what i'm getting here with this group that's what your partner is going to be it's like you have endless possibilities of what you can do what you want to buy you know it's like you set your sights on something and it is yours because you have the means to get it you don't ever have to be denied. Like there's a trip that you want to go on, a place you want to visit. Doesn't matter the cost. You can go there and visit. I don't know. I'm hearing Aruba. So that could be a dream place for some of you. But um, yeah, I'm talking like fancy clothing, fancy trips, uh, fancy restaurants all the time for lunch, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Like, it's just like an endless, limitless supply of luxury. That's what I get with this group. You are definitely living a soft life. You're going to be a soft life girl or a guy. And like I said, once it starts, there will be no end to this life. 
um, the one thing I do get is that you're going to defend this life with your, with all your might. So if there's anyone who's like creeping around trying to, you know, replace you or like move in on your person, like you're going to stop that in in its tracks. Like you're not going to allow anybody to take your spot, like take your place. You are very much like, nope, you ain't about to live my life. It's giving me um, Beyonce's ring the alarm. I feel like you're going to have that mentality toward like any threat you see posed around the environment. Cause you're like, nope, ain't nobody gonna be walking around here in the fancy coats and the going on the expensive trips and um, wearing the VVS stones and all that kind of stuff. Like, no, that's mine. I earned it. I'm, it's only going to be me for the end, until the end of time. <laughs> like, you're not going to play about your partner. Like, you're going to be that wife or husband who is very much, like, protecting the asset. <laughs> not saying you don't love your partner. Um, I do feel like you are going to love them. But you're definitely going to be like, nope, ain't nobody going to be in my spot. We in this till death do us part. And I'm definitely not about to see nobody else live my life. Okay, so we're going to move on to, that's all I have for group two. Let's move on to group three. Uh, let me timestamp this here. Okay, so for those who chose plushie number three, will you live the soft life? I'm getting, um, no. I feel that you're going to live, I'm hearing an average earning life. Not to say that you'll be struggling, but I definitely get like, you may not, you may can't afford to not work along with your partner. This could either be because you, you are single and so you can't afford not to work because you have to support yourself. Or if you are with a partner, it's like your, your income is needed um, along with theirs in order to like, Take care of what you need for the household, for the family, and things you want to do outside of that beyond what you need. You know, it's not, like I said, it's not necessarily a struggle life, but it's definitely like you have to work. You have to do what you have to do. You have some luxury moments, but I definitely don't get like you're just sitting around and just like, you know... um, just doing whatever, whenever it's, it's, you have to, you have to apply your effort needs to be a, your, I'm getting that your effort, your energy is applied in this group. So that equates to you working. I'm not getting soft life with this group at all. You know, there could be like some hard times, but I, like you'll get through it. Um, you know, it's just, it's just like a regular, I heard at the beginning, average earning life. So I get like, it's just a normal, you know, two income household, like type of deal. If it's not you being single, but I, I don't feel like you're struggling. Like you're, you know, on the verge of being like evicted or your house being foreclosed on nothing like that. Like you're taking care of business, but it's like your income is needed along with your partner. Your partner could make more than you. But I feel that you, like, maybe your income would be, like, maybe your partner's income covers, like, the big bills and yours covers the smaller bills. Or, like, maybe your your partner's earnings cover, like, all the bills for the house and, like, maybe your earnings cover, like, you know, to buy, like, clothing and go grocery shopping, like, smaller deals like that. So, yeah, it's like, it, either way your income is still needed, even if it is for like the smaller expenses in the household. But I feel like that's about as far as it's going to go as far as like soft life is concerned, as far as like your money doesn't need to be spent on like the major bills. You're not like splitting rent or splitting a mortgage. You are, um, you're taken care of in that way, but it's like you need to, you know, buy clothing for you all you need to buy groceries you need to maybe get the cars fixed you know you need to um take care of just little miscellaneous expenses that come up because i feel like your partner's um money will be wrapped up in like the major five like the major expenses between you 
Like maybe your money goes toward like your self-care, getting your nails, your hair done, you know, waxes, lasers, things like that. Yeah. I do what I am getting though is that whatever job you have is not like a job that truly stresses you out. So I don't feel like you're busting your behind working long hours. I feel like you work a job that has like, you know, respectable hours. You have weekends off or you have like a couple of days off a week and um you can take a vacation here and there. You could afford to do that, you know. Take like a week or two off if you, you know, for a vacation from work. I feel like you got a job like that. Like it's just something kind of comfortable, something you get used to doing. But I definitely get that you need the money. But it's just, it's not like I'm not getting a very stressful work life to make ends meet. You're not busting your behind, working overtime to get time and a half, nothing like that. It's just got a little extra cushion you're you're you need a little extra cushion in your household and your money gives the household that that extra cushion while your partner has like the major like the lion's share of responsibility financially okay so that's about all i have for you all for this uh pick a car reading that was quick and fun i hope you all enjoyed it again if you would like to check out your monthly zodiac readings or your general forecast for the rest of the year or your love forecast for the rest of the year you can do so at the vimeo links below to view those if you'd like to book a personal reading with me the website can be found in the description box as well and follow me on follow me on instagram at serene dream things for guidance and i'll be back with more readings lovelies bye